It is 9.48. It is time now to imagine it with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. He has the electrodes hooked up like <coughs> Frankenstein's monster. How are you doing there? You all Good. right? Yeah. These are just two really, really strong magnets. Wow. And they're actually connected right through my hand. I've got a piece of copper here. Now, copper is not magnetic. Okay. okay that's going to be important for what we're going to do. Magnet will not stick to copper. So I'm going to put this very strong magnet away over here. And um, <coughs> what I have here is a little pendulum, okay? So, All Tony, right. I'm going to have you just, you're going to swing this thing gotcha. back and forth. Okay. It but we want to do it really, really close to the copper plate because a really interesting physics effect happens when a strong magnet moves close to a conductor. Now, remember, this is not magnetic. Right. So go ahead and pull that back. Okay. And then it's about six inches. And, oh, maybe right Too here. far. Too far. <laughs> right there. Let it go. Okay, it hit a little bit. Let me pull Sorry. it up a little bit higher and do that same thing again. How's the elevator business? It has its ups and downs. It, it does. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when it comes near the copper plate, it just comes to a near dead halt. Huh. It's like it's moving through molasses. Wow. So really complicated effect is happening here. The magnetic field is changing. It's creating circular currents in the copper plate. Those circular currents create a magnetic field that opposes the magnet. Sounds like a lot, but right. the effect is it comes to a dead halt. And very, it's all quickly. created just by this one magnet. Yes, and if you come near a iron bolt, it'll stick. Hmm. But the copper is not. Okay. So we don't have to move just the magnet. We could move the conductor. All right. Okay. Now I want to show you this little apparatus I built here is a little dangerous <laughs> because <laughs> this is your erector set. It, it is. It's kind of like a little. Can you hold this up here for me? Okay. Just stick your finger there and hold it. I'm going to show you what happens if we make a mistake. Oh no! It's a guillotine. Let it let it fall. Um, they're going to have to take a look here. This is a carrot, a dangling carrot. It's a carrot. Huh. Okay. We don't want to have that happen. Okay. <laughs> So don't put your fingers down there. Got okay. it. Okay. <laughs> but now we can use this effect. This it's called eddy currents. We okay. can use that effect. I've got four strong magnets here. Just gonna lower those down to where the plate is. Do the same thing. Hold that up there again, Tony. For All right. Me, if you could. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick to this part. I'm gonna go ahead and just let it go. What? With your hand there? Oh. <laughs> All right. So check that out. When it, stick your hand in there. You'll be no, fine. No. Do it. Come on. You'll be fine. So, <laughs> is that not crazy? So that is the trust test. <laughs> that's the trust test. Now, like I said, what's happening? Circular currents are flowing in this copper plate. Mm -hmm. If we damage the plate by putting some slits in it like oh, that, yeah. the circular okay. currents can't flow. Okay. okay. So if we do that again, I'll keep my fingers back here. Keep your fingers back. But luckily, I have some more magnets here. We could do this again. We could actually kind of lower it maybe only halfway. Again, as the copper plate moves near the magnets, right. currents are created in there. Huh. And you saw it slowed down a little bit right in the middle. Right? Sure. So you know, you'd say, why would you ever need this weird physics phenomenon called eddy currents? Right? If you ride a roller coaster, right. top thrill dragster, when it comes in at the end, they use this effect. Little copper plates drop down between strong magnets to guide the coaster to a stop. So again. Oh, that's cool. And it's also the launch, too, the linear induction when they set it going. Exactly. Um, so eddy current braking is a really cool effect. Um, and if you have, like, you can get these on the internet now. And if you have an aluminum pan at home, same effect will happen. Build your own coaster. But but don't build it. Don't build this. Okay, don't try this. At home. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> that is Carl Nelson and the Imagination Station. If you want to head down there, hey, they're open today from 10 until 5. Thanks so much uh, for coming on out once yeah. again this morning. No problem. All, all right. right. That is this week's Imagine It. And we're turning it over now to Dave with sports.